Hey guys, how you doing? Today we're going to talk about two things. The first is the biotech stock BPMX, which I was going to talk about a couple of days ago, but I was waiting for more reports to come out on the company. And then the second thing we're going to talk about is how I'm planning to invest my money as well. So I hope you enjoy that and let's get right into it. Okay, so let's talk about BPMX a little bit. It is a biotech company. So basically these companies are more startup and they're still not making revenue <clears throat> most of the time. They, they're still building up. They're creating their products. They're going through their phases to get their products approved. And so what does BPMX have? It has a gel with minocyclin. Minocyclin is an antibiotic and it's going to be used for acne and rosacea. Now currently there is not a minocyclin gel like this one available or any available and what it does it's you put it on and it absorbs very well however the good thing is that it does not get systemically absorbed so that when you take minocycline orally you can have more side effects with that so that's kind of the nice thing about this uh, product that they're producing so they're producing it for both acne and rosacea now for the acne part they are in they're going to start phase three. Now they haven't started it. They were supposed to get some partnering up uh, some time ago and they haven't done that. Um, there's no explanation as to why they haven't done it. But at the same time, they've progressed with doing phase two for the rosacea part of their study. Now they've had some significant, very good results on, on phase two and some patients that were treated already with <clears throat> perfect results that they had so that lets us know that this product is probably going to do very good once it's out. When is it going to be out? I'm not too sure. You would think another year or two before possibly. It fell down. So possibly another year or two before uh, these products are out. But who knows, maybe sooner if they can get these studies done. <clears throat> They're not the longest studies. Um, they don't have to be uh, extremely long and in addition it's already been proved to be a safe product and so there's less studying and less problems with it getting approved hopefully in the near future. We know that when we invest into biotech stocks it's not like investing into I don't know say like coke because it's a very well established company it gives dividend all this other stuff now that's not what we're investing into we're investing into a possible good company that has good potential so when you invest into biotech companies you have to look at the the medication itself and see one or it, do you think this medication is going to be productive i think i would prescribe this without a doubt to my patients so i think that's going to be fantastic so those are the things that i look at you also have to look at because we always get burned with them doing reverse stock splits whether how far along the company is and we're talking about phase two and phase three already and a drug that seems to be doing very well and it has been uh, proved so far to be very good so now we just have to wait on a few things uh, let's talk about the price of it the, I think the highest it's been lately has been 33, 34 cents. It's now dropped all the way down to about 13 cents uh, or right under 14 cents, which to me at this point, uh, I think a lot of people panic. Uh, but if you look at the medications, you look at where this is going to go, and if you think it's going to get approved like I do, then I think this is a great buying opportunity. So my stance on this so far at this point is to buy more. Uh, so that we can hopefully bring in more revenue in the future when it gets approved. Now there has been um, a um, article out there that said that there was some insider trading going on and a lot of selling going on but there's also some buying going on so I think that kind of goes back and forth uh, between what's going on and who knows why that's happening uh, but at the same time we have to see that this company is making moves and strides to try to compete to get these things out into the market and I think that's what we have to focus on and make sure that uh, hopefully uh, this succeeds if at any time I think that it wouldn't succeed then I would definitely come back on here and and give you the scoop on that as well but as far as I'm concerned 
and again, I'm not a professional advisor, uh, but as far as I'm concerned at this point, I think this would be a fantastic uh, stock to get into. Now, let me point out a little bit of what my plan would be, and I don't know what your plan would be. Maybe you can let me know what you're thinking and how you would make these investments into these companies. But my plan is to initially get into biotech stocks, the ones that I think are going to succeed, the ones that I think that I would prescribe and that I think that they would help my patients. And those are the companies I want to be involved with. I don't invest into just any random companies. I sometimes don't even invest into good drugs, but that I don't personally use or I would not personally use. Maybe they're more for a specialist or something else, and I may not invest into this, those companies either. So I kind of stick to what I, I know and what I like. Now, in addition to that, once uh, the profit's there, then I think that the money has to be moved over to a different type of fund, a different type of stock, one that is going to create more money for you. And that's where I think dividend stocks are maybe a great benefit at that time. You do have to invest quite a bit into dividend stocks to make good money. Again, you do have to pick good stocks and you're going to run into a lot of people telling you what is a good stock and what is not a good stock and they base themselves sometimes only on the numbers and how the numbers are looking but they don't really look into the company itself and what the company is doing and the benefits and the good things that companies are doing to succeed and I think that's really important as well so uh, when I look into dividend stocks I look into uh, everything I look into the company itself then I look into uh, the numbers themselves as well and see how everything's going and see the direction I think it's going to go. I think that <clears throat> even though Tesla is not a dividend stock, initially, if people didn't believe in the company, it would be a company you would look at the numbers and you go, man, I would not put money into that company at all. But you know you believe in the product and you invest into it and then hopefully start seeing it grow and prosper. And so I think that for most of us, I think that if we do it this way, I think it would be great. Now there's some people that invest into biotech stocks and they basically go in and out of the market very quickly. Uh, I do it a little bit more long term. And so some of the things that I talk about and my opinions are gonna be more long term because I know that these are gonna do well. Now sometimes you can jump in and out of these stocks. <clears throat> Is it worth it? It might be worth it because I know that they've gone up like this stock BPMX has gone up to the 30s and now down to about 13 or 14 cents. At some point we could have sold here then bought again down here and made quite a bit of profit. It's probably a good idea and I think as we all go learning I think maybe that's something that we all decide to do and keep on taking those profits. Now is it going to be a good advantage to you? Depends on your tax bracket. If your tax bracket is low and you're not going to get <clears throat> dinged a lot of money when you're selling uh, then that's that's fine but if you have to wait for it to become capital gains so having it greater than a year's time then sometimes you have to wait and then sell once it's high and at that point if it's high or low then you can decide not to sell or to sell depending on what it's looking like anyway so those are some of my uh, points as far as investing into uh, biotech stocks uh, particular today was BPMX and I think there's a lot more to look into this company. Uh, of course, they just put out their, their profit uh, reports and the quarterly reports recently, so you can look into those and see if you kind of agree with what's going on with this company and if you think that it's going in the right direction. I think it will go in the right direction. I think they are going to make money, and I think at this low price right now, as soon as I put money into my account, I will possibly invest into that as well. So. Thanks for listening, and I will catch you next time. Take care.